Hey everybody, welcome back to Harp and Guitar, People and Music. So for today, another quick edition of Whiskey's Blues Gumbo, and I would like to cover off the term of harp, as in harp and guitar, or blues harp. Now where does the term harp come from, and why do we refer to a harmonica as a harp in blues? Now, there's a couple of different ideas behind this. One of them is that the harp is a reed instrument, and it basically evolved from the harpsichord down into the accordion and eventually into the harmonica, which is also known as a mouth organ or a mouth harp. And that's sort of where the, uh, the terminology of harp, especially in the southern United States, comes from, why they, they use the term harp instead of harmonica. Now, a lot of that does come from the fact that there's a huge European influence in terms of uh, music and culture in the southern United States at the turn of the last century, the, the late 1800s and early 1900s. And that European influence came in the form of uh, Portuguese and Spanish players, as well as some Italian and German players. And it's in that region of sort of uh, Germany, uh, Spain, Portugal, uh, Italy, where the harmonica and the harpsichord and the accordion was developed. Uh, eventually, the term harmonica or mouth harp or mouth organ developed into just harp. And to avoid confusion between the stringed harp, you know, like uh, you'd see in, let's say, classical uh, music settings and that sort of thing, to distinguish that type of harp from, you know, a harmonica harp, generally when you use the term harp and blues, you refer to it as blues harp or cross harp. Cross harp meaning that uh, you often play cross notes. In other words, you're drawing in more than you're blowing to create notes. So that's how you get the term harp for the harmonica and blues. So again, I think that's going to wrap it up here today for uh, harp and guitar and whiskey's blues gumbo. And as always, if you haven't already, please like, share the video, let us know what you think down in the comments below. And if you have any other terminology that you're unfamiliar with and you want to know what it's all about, don't forget to drop us a line here at Harp and Guitar, People and Music. Be happy to discuss it for you, okay? So, have yourselves a great day. Take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.